Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. Motion. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about bench press technique and something that is kind of controversial when it comes down to bench pressing. A lot of times when people talk about the perfect bench press in order to isolate the pec, it seems to contradict a lot of the things that the powerlifting technique talks about. So when you're using heavier weights, and I'd recommend this as well, when you're bench pressing or barbell bench pressing, you do want to tuck the elbows a bit, right? During heavier weights, you want to do this because you are then distributing the force amongst the tendons in the pec, also the delts, and bringing in some more of the tricep and stuff. So you're basically distributing a lot of the forces amongst a lot of different areas. Therefore, there's less stress on the pec tendons themselves, right? So I know guys that have flared the elbows and did maximal weights or sets of five or six reps and then tore something, uh, specifically their pec. But just because that happens at heavier weights, I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding going on, right? So, so people start to say this certain technique works best with using heavier weights, therefore it is the only technique. And that's where I would say uh, there can be a problem, right? because there's something to be said about changing techniques in order to isolate muscles, but using safe amounts of tension in order to do so. So I've been using a standard bench press technique with the elbows tucked a bit for quite a long time, you know, bench pressing 275 or 295 and using specific ranges of motion, not touching my chest with the bar, even though I could, because I felt that this was the safest way for me to accomplish the task at hand and keep the tension on as many different muscles as I can without putting stress on the tendons. But what I'm doing lately is I'm working with lighter weights and basically doing a little bit more of a glorified yoga form of weight training, just for fun. And I'm gonna be writing up a program on this for you guys if you're interested in this sort of thing. But it basically helps you put on muscle, but the focus is a little bit different. The focus is more on isolating the muscle and keeping tension on the muscle and in some cases changing the technique or range of motion in order to do so because you're using lighter poundages but you're training at a much more high frequency. So it's a different strategy than uh, pounding the body into oblivion which, which works sometimes. You know, I'm not saying never to do that either but I'm just saying you don't always work with maximal poundages and when you work with lighter poundages that gives you some creativity with how you are training. So this also applies to the bench press. So what I've been doing lately is what a lot of the old school bodybuilders recommended. They recommended to flare the elbows, bring the bar up higher on the chest, more towards the neck, but in doing so you are putting more stress on the pec and the pec tendons. So in order to offset this, you have to use lighter weights. And one sort of blanket statement I can make here, and it's gonna be different for everybody, but use weights that you can at least do 40 to 50 reps with on the bench if you're using a tucked elbow sort of uh, scenario, right? So even though I'm doing bench presses with 295 or 275 or three plates sometimes, when I'm doing a flared elbow method, I'll use 185 or 195 in order to wrap out and to keep that tension on the pack. And I'm noticing a lot of good pumps in the pack and a different sort of stretch and some great constant tension on that area right now. But the real disclaimer on this is that you have to use really light weight in comparison to your powerlifting type scenario uh, weight training technique.
So that's where I think uh, a lot of the misunderstanding comes in where people, they say one technique works with heavyweight, lightweight, there's only one technique, but I'm saying there's a technique for heavyweight and then there are techniques for lighter weight because the stress is distributed differently when you're using different techniques and you have to take that into account. And sometimes certain techniques can be really harsh on certain areas of the body, but when you use lighter weights, then that offsets that, right? But if you use heavier weights, now that area that's already exploited becomes super exploited and sometimes exploded, right? So you don't want that to happen. So in this scenario, I would always recommend if you're using heavier weights, like five rep sets, 10 rep sets, even 15 rep sets, and sometimes even 20 rep sets, I would recommend you know, keeping the elbows tucked a bit on the barbell bench press. But when you start working with weights in order to isolate that chest and get those pumps and to stretch and specifically keep tension on the pec, you might get some benefit through the flared elbow technique using super light weights. Right? So you can even do that as a finisher at the end of your workout if you wanted to or, or you could specifically do what I'm doing and that is your workout is you're doing the flared elbow method and you're not worried about hitting PRs or, or trying to really push how much strength you have. Because another thing you have to talk about with yourself, have this conversation with yourself, is what is your goal? Is it to put on muscle or is it to impress yourself with a number? Because we all know that when you're trying to lift heavy for the sake of heavy itself, Sometimes your technique changes, so you're not necessarily getting stronger, but you're learning how to creatively cheat, such as changing the groove or uh, you know, changing the technique in order to get that weight up. And that's not necessarily giving you greater results, right? So in the end, what you want is to get greater results in sculpting your physique and having a good time and also uh, create a mind-muscle connection with these different areas, but do it safely. So yeah, that's what I have to say about flared elbow bench presses as opposed to the tucked elbow technique. Experiment, but just be careful and wary of where you're feeling the stress. And if you are feeling the stress on the tendons, you may have to lighten the weight uh, a little bit, right? Because you want to stretch in the muscle belly, but you do not want to cause problems with the tendons. So I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgolandbodybuilding.com. And thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters. On Patreon, I am doing a podcast where I talk at length about these types of subjects and go in and out on all the different little details and stuff. It's quite entertaining. So if you want to listen to me talk about these subjects at length and go more in depth on them, then uh, Patreon is the place for you. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope this helps you out and uh, take care for now. Natural Land.